In this example, we're going to create a requisition for an item. I'm going to procure uh, an item which is a DVD. And to do that, I'm just going to search from the main store after logging into Oracle iProcurement based upon the username and responsibility that the system administrator has assigned to you. From the main store, search for DVD. Click on the Go button, and it's returned to me a list of items based upon the items that has been loaded into the catalogs. I'm going to select my preferred supplier for this DVD, which is Advantage Corp. There is this item can also be sourced internally. I'm going to check to see what options I have um, just to make sure that I have the best price. If I click on the add, uh, click here to select a source, it brings up all the different sources where I can procure this item from. I have internal Seattle Manufacturing, which is one of our internal suppliers. And it tells me that we have 6,484 in the RIP sub-inventory at a price of 100.72. In the same way, I have some other organizations within the company. For example, I've got Chicago Sub-Assembly Plant. Doesn't have, doesn't have any. Um, and we have Boston Manufacturing, Dallas Manufacturing as examples. So I'm going to source externally because the price here is actually lower and, uh, and I trust this supplier. So I'm going to select External Advantage Corporation and click on Add to Cart. Now you discover that my CD-ROM is now in my cart and I can go into View, Cart and Checkout to have a look at some more details about this item. If I wanted to, I could request that the system would reserve a purchase order for me immediately and that will give me uh, a purchase order number or I can decide to continue and then um, and, and get the uh, the buyer to sort of complete that process. I'm going to click on the checkout button and I'm going to have a look and see some more information that can be added to these details. First of all the DVD is going to be used in the IT project, so I'm going to do a search within my projects. And there is one project that we've created called IT Project. And I'm going to search for the IT project, click on the Go button. And I've got a project here called IT Project, which is due to complete on the night of September 2011. Select the quick select and then IT project is entered in the field. My task, I'm going to select task 1.0. Expenditure type is computer equipment. And I can partially enter some of the information and get the, the system to complete the remaining for me, computer equipment. Expenditure organization is going to be vision. Uh, again, I'm going to search just to make sure that uh, I select the right one, which is Vision Operations. And I want this for tomorrow, which is the 14th of March, 2010. And I'm going to click on the Next button to take me to the Next. And if I wanted to, I could actually have edited the lines but um, I'll reserve that for another video and I can click on the next button and this gives me some more details about the requisition. In the previous screen, just go back one screen, you can see that no approvals is required. This is because the item itself is within my approval limit and self-approval has been enabled in the setup. I can also look at the details just to see a bit more about the item itself and 
some of the default that has been entered. Um, I have a default charge account which has been created by the account generator based upon the, the details that I've entered. And you can see that it's been assigned to the project, the task number and the expenditure type. I'll click on the submit button and that's submit my requisition for auto approval and you can see that uh, my requisition has been submitted and if I click on the requisition tab I should be able to see some details about requisition number 14408. So clicking on the requisition tab I can see details of my requisition. And you can see that the requisition has now been approved.